Hello everyone and welcome back to Paper Mario. I had to skip last week, if I recall. I don't really remember why. I think it had just been a long weekend. But now we're back with Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Uh, I went ahead and got the HD version on Switch yesterday while I was at the store. I've been playing some of it to catch up so that I can use that to determine what I'll probably be able to cover in each episode. But additionally, I've learned some interesting new things. Uh, for one, I don't know if you remember the Shadow Sirens that we saw in the cutscenes last time, but uh, they're just called the Shadows in the HD one. Now I kind of understand why, it's because the character Vivian has been updated to be transgender, as she was in the original Japanese version of the game. But uh, kind of like the name Shadow Sirens a lot more than just the Shadows. Um, additionally, uh, what was the other change? Oh yeah, there's a character later on in the game. We haven't found, haven't met him yet. But suffice to say, in the HD version, there's a secret fight you can do against him that I'm really excited about. Sadly, I won't be able to stream that for y'all, but it is my favorite part of the game anyway. But with that said, last time we defeated Hooktail, we got... Koops in the party. Being a cool little man. I just remember something else. Uh, I don't think I went back and talked to Koopiku after we went off to defeat Hooktail. But Koopiku actually apologizes for slamming into Koops in her anger. I don't know what the heck else you call that shell charge. I guess shell charging him. But yeah, she apologizes and then says she thought about it and she's in and it's him facing his fears and she's in full support of him and it was adorable. Anyway, everything's cool now. Family's all back together. Can we get another leaf? Heck yeah. And now it's time to head right right on back to uh Wait a minute, is there a shortcut over here? Right on back to Rogueport to finish my earlier sentence. There is not anything here yet. Keyword being yet. Anyway, how are you doing, Zelda Sheik? Not too bad, that's cool. Another interesting change between the HD version and this one. In this game, you press A on these bushes and shake them to make stuff bounce out. You mean to tell me I was literally an inch away from triggering that flag? Don't have work tonight so you're able to sleep in, says Zelda Sheik. That's awesome. I slept in yesterday and it felt great. Didn't sleep in this morning, but I got enough sleep that I feel great today too. Well, for the most part. I was feeling pretty weird a few hours ago, and never quite went away. Anyway... Something wrong, Mario? You're, um... shaking. You feeling alright? Yeah, man. It's cool. If I could... There we go. That's a new Mailbox SP, isn't it? Wow, neat! Did you get some mail? I don't remember what voice I used for him last time, but I think this is close. My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I am being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find objects they call the Crystal Stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. Mario, please collect these Crystal Stars before they do. You must. They are already aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please, don't worry about me. Wow, 
You got mail from a princess. That's so cool. So anyway, she's unhurt. That's good at least. But I didn't like the sound of those kidnappers looking for the crystal stars as well. Anyway, the note I was going to make, in this game you press A on these bushes to shake them and knock stuff out of them. In the HD version, you smack them with your hammer. The HD version lets you do vertical hammer slams. Zelda Sheik said it's buffering a bunch. Oh my word. Alright, I'm back after that fiasco. That was annoying. Finally had things going at a decent time and then got delayed further by a bad connection. But, uh, anyway... Where was I? Where did my stream last end off? Do you remember Zelda Sheik? If you've popped back in yet. So yeah, to try and recap some of the stuff that happened... Oh, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It's happening again? Why? Oh! It caught up. It seems. Are we back? Because I may have found a fix, but I haven't actually done anything yet. I'm recording this whole thing. Gosh dang it. Okay. It seems to have stabilized for now. Let's hope it stays that way. If not, I might have to start this whole deal again. Let's just keep going on back to Rogueport. Another odd change, though possibly because it, the cricket was annoying, in the HD version it's a frog sound instead of a cricket sound that we get in Hooktail's castle. with all the stuff I was saying. I got completely sidetracked. I suppose one, sh one thing I should mention, if I didn't already, is that last time we defeated Hooktail, we got the first Crystal Star, and now we're on our way back to- Whoop! Well, I just spoiled something. Don't go back. Don't see it. Don't, don't take a look at what just happened. going to try and avoid doing that going forward. Because the game hasn't told them, uh, told us about them yet, so I can't exploit them. It doesn't feel right. But I can show this off. We now have Earth Tremor. As it says, press A with perfect timing. This is a new star move, and it's one of the best in the game. Check this out.
Dang it. Oh well. The nice thing about Earth Tremor is it only gets stronger the more you do. Now that was a bit of a waste, I'll admit. But eh, we can get it back. And I'm doing a lot of fights just for the sake of leveling. I guess I can turn off the, the cricket noise now. I'll go ahead and do that. Oh, we're full up on items. Zelda Sheik said, cool to see though. Indeed it is. It's one of the best moves in the game, despite getting it so early on. Well, I guess we'll get rid of a turtle leaf, because we could just come back and grab another one if we need one. Anyway, Zelda Sheik, let me know if the game st if the if the stream starts freaking out again. I have an idea for a fix, but I might have to cut the stream again to do it. I don't really know how to do it. Um, do you remember what I was saying before I cut the stream earlier? I do know one thing I don't think I got the chance to say is uh, I didn't notice until I was playing the HD version earlier The Koops has white boots. I just somehow never, no never acknowledged that. I think he's the only Koopa with white boots in the entire franchise. Will do, it's been good so far, she says. Oh, dang it. If you haven't seen screenshots, the HD version of the game also updated the aesthetics of the game, so everything looks like paper and cardboard. Even this water here, it's just thin cardboard layers la layered on top of each other. So she said I was just talking about differences between the games. Indeed, I was. I meant, like, specifically, do you remember the last thing I said? I remember the... I never mentioned the hammer attack. It has a bit of a different sound effect. I kind of like the... the whomp of this game more, this version. I also like the soundtrack of the original more. The updated soundtrack is very orchestral, but it also makes it sound very samey and... unoriginal. The HD version doesn't ask if you want to save the game, it just saves it. Zelda Sheik said the hammer smash. Yes, I was saying that the HD version lets you hammer vertically instead of just horizontally. And then there's a lot of things that you affect by hammering them instead of just pressing A on them. It's very interesting. I am enjoying the remake so far. I, d I do think it's... Other than the updated... There's even some things about the updated graphics I don't like, though. Because, like, when this game first came out on GameCube, the paper thing was more of an aesthetic than anything. Like, they didn't try to make everything look like it was made of paper. Or at least not down to the finest detail. But... In the modern ones, they do. What's your deal? My name is Dazzle, and I collect star pieces. The more I collect, the happier I am. So, guy, if you have any star pieces, I'll trade you my badges for them. Yay! Come on, let's trade. Which badge do you want to trade for? We've got eleven. Chill out and never succumb to a first strike. I don't even remember that one. When Mario's attack caused enemies to sometimes miss... Slowly and automatically restore HP during battle, but I think we already have one of those, actually. Same for ally. F FP during battle. 
Make it likelier that items will appear after battle. After beating a foe, make more hearts appear. After make more flowers appear. Make en enemy HP visible, which we can do with Tattle. So that's not that important. Allow your ally to attack even after changing partners. Ooh, that is very handy. Drop FP used when Mario attacks by one. That's very handy. Same for partner moves. And then we can't afford these. Jump and hammer attacks are boosted by one. Partners attack by one. Hmm. Let's see. Right, I keep forgetting I need to change my controls a little bit, because I still have B bound at the X button on this thing. Um, what badges do I already have? I already have Happy Heart. Can't wear it right now, but I have it, and that's what matters. So I need Happy Heart P. Let's go with Happy Flower. Hmm. I was going to get the attack effects one, but probably best to go with Pretty Lucky for now. And of course, I can't put any of these on, but. Stuff for later. Alright, I don't need your help right now. Let's see. I'm trying to remember what else we can do before we move on. I'll go ahead and save the game here. Let me just double check badges quick. Okay. So I guess I'll keep close call on for now. Ah, oh, hey, Luigi's over there. Sup, bruh? Well, hey, big brother. Fancy meeting you here. What a coinky dink. Eh? Who, me? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eglair of the Waffle Kingdom. Yeah, it's a bad scene, all right. She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. If you gotta know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. It was pretty crazy, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long, pretty long story. I love these. And I, I, I eagerly await the day we get, we get Paper Luigi, where we get to actually play through this adventure. Boy, I want to play through his adventure. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Only one part so far, the Waffle Kingdom letter. Also, I happen to love waffles. In my opinion, waffles are superior to pancakes. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. My big brother, that's you, bro, got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind as usual, I was cooking a snack at home when another letter arrived. Mario and Koops are both already asleep. <laughs> we don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh? This is what the letter said. Sirs, my name is Crepe. I am a cabinet minister in the far-off Waffle Kingdom. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut King, who took our Princess Eclair. I ask, nay, beg for your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt response, sirs. Sincerely, Crepe. Well, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it went something like that. With Mario, that's you, bro, gone, it fell to me to answer this plea. 
Hesitating only a teensy bit, I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh, now, first I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking. Then I left. Once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I met Minister Crepe, who filled me in. The Chestnut King had kidnapped Princess Eclair and vanished. Apparently, though, some oracle said a marvelous compass could locate her. This marvelous compass had been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse. And those parts had been scattered across the land. Can you believe it, bro? Each part of the marvelous compass was said to point to the next. And since one of the parts was embedded by the tiara, tiara worn by the princess, I surmised that once I collected all the parts, I'd find her. Smart, huh? The minister gave me the compass base spoken of in Waffler Fables. When it activated, the entire thing lit up, right up, indicating the deep south. It was pointing me toward Rumblebump Volcano on the Pudding Continent. Why does that name sound familiar? Is that an actual location in the franchise already? So yeah, here I am. I'm sailing out of Rogueport for Rumblebump Volcano. It's probably gonna be pretty dangerous, but I gotta rescue that princess. If you wanna hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. I didn't remember that Luigi's adventure started already. And I believe we need to talk to... Professor Frankly, was it? I'm still insanely curious about those badge-looking things up in the corner there. Oh, galloping Goombas! You got a crystal star! Magnificent, Mario! I knew you could do it! First, you must take that down to the thousand-year door. And we'll talk. All right, I forgot about that. Hmm, this is taking a while. Hope I don't end up needing to rename the episode. Also, Zelda Sheik, remind me when I call an end of the stream to change the controls. Before I call it a night. Whoops. What's in here again? Ah, uh, yes, we can't do that yet. Shame. My connection has dipped again. Why does this keep happening? Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna try something. Okay, and we're back again. So this time I manually set the server, because it's possible the issue was just that, uh... It... Oh! I'm dropping frames already. Are you serious? Why? I just realized I forgot to hit record before I started doing this. Gosh dang it. Our next crystal star is green.
The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Hey, uh, Mario, look there! The next crystal star showed up on the map! But... I'm sorry, I, I don't have a clue where that is. Um, I think maybe we should take it to Professor Frankly and let him look at it. To anyone watching this on YouTube later on, if you're wondering about all the weird cuts and everything going on, that's because OBS is not uploading correctly to Twitch while I'm streaming this. I'm trying to, I've been trying to fix the problem. I'm hoping it's good now, but I have no idea what the problem is. If it continues, I'm just going to try again tomorrow or something and then splice everything together at the end of it. I see, I see. Crystal clear! Um, so, can you tell us where the next crystal star is, or not? It's in the Boggly Woods! A second crystal star is inside of a great tree there! A great tree in the Boggly Woods, huh? About those woods. I think some odd creatures live there. If memory serves, there's a pipe beneath town that leads to those woods. Um, Professor Frankly, you should probably know. It's about Princess Peach. Mr. Mario got an email from her just recently. Her Highness said that the guys who kidnapped her are also hunting crystal stars. Oh, and she said she doesn't even know where she's being held. Yeah. Uh-oh. Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the crystal stars. What could they hope to achieve? Could the treasure be... Ugh, too many unknowns. Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are the crystal stars and that map. Um, I guess all we can do is head to Bockley Woods to find that next crystal star. Yes, I recommend you do just that, and find it before the princess's captors do. But don't be hasty. If you're low on items or health, drop by the shop and in first. I'll keep researching to learn more about the crystal stars and the ancient treasure. And that's that. Oh, wait a minute. You found a scrap of paper in the garbage can with info about red bones. It has been transferred to your tunnel log. Is there any more I forgot about? Not currently. Alright. Furthermore... Welcome to the home of Marlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. So, which partner would you like me to power up? You can use Shell Shield to protect Mario or Multibonk to attack a foe multiple times. I'll go with Shell Shield. Shall I power up this partner? Shazami! Shazubi! I wish I could actually shout these things. That's a little awkward with me not quite standing on the left of the table. <laughs> there you may go! Koops now has a new move. Now that I think about it, hold on a minute. Okay, this place is open. Hey, is this your first time to the Trouble Center? If you plan on using our services, I can explain them for you first. Need an explanation? Then listen and listen good. This trouble center is where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that. If you want to see what kind of troubles people have, check that bulletin board. If you're a nice guy, you'll choose someone and try to help them out. If not, not. Help someone out and they'll give you a reward, probably. Not a bad deal, eh? But remember, if you decide not to solve a trouble, you have to pay to cancel. You got that? Well, good. Then go help someone out. Oh my gosh, there's so many of these. 
R for with an F. <laughs> Garf says, need a key. Safe delivery, price adjustment. Find this guy. Hit me, please. I'm hungry. Try to find me. Listen to me. Order me an item. Hmm. I guess let's take this one for now. They call me Garf. I have lost my key, and thus I cannot get into my house. It should be somewhere in Rogueport. I just need someone to find it. I'll be waiting for you at the house at the very back end of East Rogueport. Wanna take on Garf's trouble? Sure. Do it and do it right. You took on my trouble? You? Okay, then please find my key and be quick about it. If someone else finds my key, they'll be able to get in my house, so I'll stand guard. I think I dropped my key when I went to the bad shop, but I'm not sure. Well, I was going to head to the bad shop, so that works. There's a lot more I want to do tonight, though. I might end up delayed and going to bed. Also, another interesting change in the HD version. This huge wooden tower is no longer here. There's just the platform up there. Oops. Up we go. There's the key. What have we got in here today? Unsimplifier, super appeal, get more star power on Mario appeals. Last stand, drop damage Mario receives by one half when he's in danger. Sleepy stomp, executes superbly to make enemies sleepy. And happy flower, so slowly and automatically restore FP during battle, which I just bought. That heart tail looks pretty familiar, wouldn't you say? Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. Feigning ignorance, I see. Other changes to the HD version that I've just remembered. I believe the HD version has a few extra songs in it that play it, like, during cutscene moments. Um, and also, characters have more animations, like Mario can actually look up at things. You find my key? Yes, my key! I can finally get inside my house again. Home sweet home, thank you. Please take this as payment for your efforts, alright? We got 20 coins. You solve the trouble. Okay. Could have sworn there was something in here. Hey, you don't have much here, but make yourself a home if you want. We? Who's we? I can see you got a bunk bed. Maybe triple bunk, but I don't see another occupant. Weird. I don't remember this room at all, but I could have sworn there was supposed to be something here. You'd frickin' think. Oh well. We'll do other troubles later on. Don't want to waste what little time I have left tonight on those. Not that it's unnecessary. Hey, 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 yo! I've got all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. You got the favored look of a man with a mind for goods. Want to buy something? Slow go. Make Mario sluggish so he can no longer run. Is that a badge? That's interesting. I've never heard of that one. Hammer Man. Increase hammer power by one but lose the ability to jump. No thank you. Double Pain. Double the damage Mario takes. Well. Just for novelty, I guess. I should have known. You know a deal when you see one, my man. The unbe unbelievably low price for this logo is only 12 coins. You need zero BP to wear this badge. It's happening again. You're right, it is.
Okay. It seems to have mellowed out for the moment. Hey, oh, thanks very much. That isn't the last of my hot, hot products, though. Want to buy one another? Buy another. Want to buy one another? What? No more shopping? Sorry to hear that, my man. This is a limita limited time offer. I change the goods I offer from time to time, so come back real soon, all right? All righty, sir. I just remembered. I always remember the contact lens as being way bigger than that. I don't know why. It makes sense that it would be small. But just, like, showing it on the counter, I always remember it being bigger. I would need ten coins for that contact lens. Wanna buy a fella? Thanks, fella. You might remember we needed to order a contact lens for this lady. And now we have. Did you bring me my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? An aid for poor vision. Does Mario really need this? A contact lens. Oh, sweet relief. Thank you. Finally, the world, world is crisp and clear again. I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. Be careful from now on. People don't generally like having their stuff stomped on. Before we go to the left, got something I need to do. Oh, so it's you again, huh, Mr. stomp -a -Lot? Well, my name is ST. I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. If you bring me ingredients, my cooking skills burst to life and culinary magic happens. Want me to whip something up for you right now? What ingredients would you like me to cook with? Grab a mushroom for me. I'm gonna mix these up for you, so just wait a sec. Such an adorable tune. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not entirely sure you'll like this, but go on, take it, Stompy. You got a shroom fry, a tasty dish made by Zestee. Replenishes 6 HP and 2 FP. And it's dropping again. Anytime you feel like it, feel free to bring me stuff to cook with, okay? Oh dear. I think I'm just gonna call it for the night. Sorry everyone. For anyone watching this on YouTube, I'll splice this together with the next stream I do of this game. Okay, it mellowed out again. Zelda Sheik, give me your opinion. Should I keep this going, or call it and try again another night? It's suddenly deciding to mellow out now, but... Hmm. Try again another night, it seems to be bouncing. Alright, fair enough. Well, I guess I'll do a, a, a brief outro then, just because I'll be splicing this in later. Thanks everybody for watching so far and keeping up with the issues. I'll do my best to edit things together next time, but boy howdy, it's gonna be a pain, probably. Thanks for sticking around! 
I'll see you next time we when we can when we can hopefully do this episode proper. Gotta have like five versions of this on my profile now, gosh dang it. One week later. Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to Paper Mario. Hello Zelda Sheik, glad to have you. Um I don't I don't know if I'll splice this back with the old stuff. Probably we'll try to, but if not, uh yeah, for anyone who doesn't know what happened, last time I tried streaming this, I made a little bit of progress, but also encountered a lot of connection issues. It ended up I ended up rebooting the stream like five different times, and at the end of the night just had to call it. But, uh... Yeah. I'm trying to remember all that happened last time. Not much. But I do remember saying some significant things, possibly seeing significant things. Um... There is the fact that our next location was revealed on the map up here. This bit. Controlling this is really weird. I've also forgotten what differences I found, so I guess I'll have to splice things together somehow. But uh, yeah, anyway, for those of you watching this on YouTube later, stuff happened, it got weird. I'll do my best to edit it later. Though, if you're watching up to this point, you've probably already recognized what happened. Anyway, moving on, we need to go to Bogley Woods. But of course, the start of things is that we unlocked this area over here. We have... A shop! With some unique items in here, including life shrooms. This store is 10 HP when Mario or his partner falls. Oh yeah, now I remember. I got events on my Switch copy mixed up with events on this. Okay, I'm now certain we haven't been in these shops and such yet. So yeah, we've got this. We can get dizzy dials, thunderbolts, a dried shroom, replenishes 1 HP. I mean, I guess if you want to be a tryhard of some kind and only use dried shrooms for healing, but... <laughs> well, there's also Volt Shrooms, electrifies you to damage direct attackers. Super Shrooms, a feel super mushroom, replenishes 10 HP. Can we get through this door? Not currently. I almost forgot I switched my controls. Maybe I'll have to switch them back, we'll see. If you're wondering why she's dressed like that, by the way, it's because this whole place is owned by the Pianta Mafia. So, of course, they're going to be fancy. We've also got this place, the Pianta Parlor, where we can do gambling. Welcome to the parlor! Hey, hey, you're Mario! Like the one and only! I know all about you! Rescuing Princess Peach is important work, but even heroes need, re need relaxation. So what can I show you? Trade-in winnings, that's it? You can trade in the Piantas if you want for prizes. And some of our prizes can't be found anywhere else. Ah, cake mix, an ingredient for making treats. Another super mushroom. Super peel. Refund. Refund some coins if you use an item in battle. Ooh, I like that. That's too bad. Come back if you decide to trade in for something. Psst. This place is run by Don Pianta. You can play fun games in here and win Pianta tokens to redeem for prizes. Yeah, play to win and get those prizes. Here's the Pianta machine. I am the Pianta changer, changing machine. I am called Pianta changer. Man, very creative. I exchange one Pianta for three coins. Want to exchange. Let's go with five. Beep 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 beep. Exchange complete. Want to exchange more? No, thank you. Thank you very much. Come again. All right. Zelda Sheik. Left or right? And in the meantime. I love checking my scores on this machine after playing games. I'm here all day. What? 
My husband is worried about me? Ah, oh, don't be silly. He doesn't mind. As long as he's writing, he doesn't notice what anyone else does. What a responsible woman. Nope. So yeah, in the in the remake, it's much more up close and like specialized, I guess, might be a good way to put it. Much more controllable. I think I like this version a little more though. I don't know. Another difference between the remake and this game that I've noticed, I believe only in the remake you get a ton of coins after defeating a boss. Or something like that. Let's try again. Oh. I can almost see the colors. Dang it. We got three back. <laughs> Alright, let's try the left one just for fun. Full blast! Dang it. You've got no more. Oh well. And what's this thing? Scoreboard! Choose a score to check. Well, I haven't done any of these games yet. How do we do them? Hey, how you doing? What? Me? I'm on top of the world, baby! What's that now? You want to know how to get a member's card, do you? Well, let's see. Maybe if you help someone in trouble, they'll give it to you. There's a hint about the trouble center that I think I mentioned last time I attempted to play this part of the game. There's also this guy. Dum da da dum da doo. Every day's a lucky day with happy lucky lottery. With new numbers every day, this lottery's fun and exploding with excitement. I'd love to tell you more. That's the way. Happy lucky lottery is so special. You pick numbers, they might win each day. Just buy your numbers here, one at a time. Buy another if you change your mind. Then check back later on this board to see if your number has come in. If your number matches the day's draw, you get a super happy lucky prize. The day's number is drawn each night at midnight. If you play and check the board every day, your number is sure to come in eventually. And when I say midnight, I mean according to your Nintendo GameCube clock. I wonder what clock the emulator runs on. So go ahead, buy a number. Only ten coins for new customers. Who wouldn't buy one for ten coins? I happen to not have ten coins now. Is that so? Unhappy. Yes, that's too bad. Well, come back when you feel like playing the Happy Lucky Lottery. If I do, I've heard that it's entirely not worth it. Supposedly, it takes like 180 days of continuous checking or something before your number pops up. There's like a cycle, a cycle to it that's like way too long to be worthwhile. Oh, you have a nice little fountain here. In the remake, everything's more stylized to look more like proper paper and cardboard. So the fountain has the water spinning in a circle on the top. Instead of just being a flat texture. <sighs> How refreshing. This is my favorite place. It's the only peaceful area in all of Rogueport. It certainly looks like a pretty peaceful place. Makes sense, though. It's run by a mafia. My dad's writing a novel, but it'll never sell. It's terrible. <laughs> if I ever write a book, I hope that's not the response I get. My wife spends all day in the parlor, so I never get anywhere on my novel. I need to go off to places I've never seen to get inspired to write. Or something. So he's worried about his wife so he can't write, but his wife thinks he's not worried about her when he's writing, so she leaves. Wow, this town may be full of rogues and punks, but this for sure feels safe. 
Aunt Piazza does such a good job of managing things. I feel totally safe shopping here. This area does feel pretty nice. Oh, this place is pink. This dude's standing on his bed. Hey, dude, shoes off the bed. Yet another day dwindles away while I loaf in bed doing nothing. Oh, well. I am rich, after all. I hope someday I can be that rich. If I feel like it, just do nothing all day. I almost fell down that grate! Man, that was close! I know where that thing leads to, too! All too well! And I don't want to go there! We're going there next, but before we do... How you doing, Zelda Sheik? Want to have a moment? So yeah, there's a blimp in the background, stretched out cheap, cheap, Zelda she said not too bad, that's cool. This blimp goes to Glitzville, will you be joining us on our flight today? Nope, don't got a ticket. We look forward to your next flight on cheap blimps. And check out this sweet train with a giant rear wheel. That's a sick train, man, I'd love to ride on a train like this. Finishing your kiki bag tonight? Cool. That was what Zelda Sheik said, by the way. Oh, you gotta love train platforms, man. I bet this place has seen as many dramatic encounters as there are stars in space. Wow, the thought of it all. I just love it. Train platforms are fun. This train is bound for luxurious Poshley Heights. Will you be boarding today? Nope. I hope you'll consider us for your future travel options, sir. I'm reminded of a time I was taking the train home from trade school a few years back. and It was foggy and late at night and uh, there was nobody at the station it turned out there was one person but they were way at the end I couldn't see them and uh, I went to scan my card at the scanner and the display on the scanner was upside down <laughs> I remember thinking what is this Silent Hill <laughs> all right now we're down below in a new place Knew it. Ah, huh. there's some folks down here just chilling. Ah, oh, did you come here to do research too? Excuse me? You're an adventurer? Really? Wow. That's the first time I've ever heard anyone describe their occupation as adventurer. I mean, to be fair, it's not really an occupation. How nice, how, how fun would it be if it was though? You got Soft Stomp! Executes superbly to make enemies soft. Which essentially means I think they take more damage when struck. There's a busted up old fountain here. Yo, Eddie the Mask here, sports fan extraordinaire. Know about stylish moves? Just press A with perfect timing during an attack to pull off a stylish move. If you do it right, the crowd will just go nuts, and some attacks have multiple ones. Each attack has different timing for stylish moves, but I'll share one with you. After you've jumped on an enemy, try pressing A at the height of your rebound. Sound hard? Well, it ain't easy. That's why you gotta practice, yo. I feel like there are better examples he could have given than just the jump one, but yeah! That's the mechanic I've been hiding so far, and that I accidentally spoiled earlier on. In... Well, yeah, it was last time. Yeah, there's an extra way to do your moves that is not indicated to you. And it what it does is it gets you extra star points. So it's a great way to use star moves more often. Say, I've never seen your face around these parts. Who are you? Ha! I get it. You're a wanted man above ground and can't be seen in town, eh? Huh? No? Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. I mean, at least you got courtesy. It doesn't seem to open. That's weird. 
I don't remember any locked doors down here. Maybe that door is not locked in the remake. Ah, oh, visitor, eh? Hey man, this dude knows everything. He'll give you some seriously good advice. Of course, you'll have to pay him for it. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Excuse me. Howdy! My name's Walkie, and I just know stuff. I may not look that much, but I know a thing or two. You better believe it. And who knows? The stuff I know may even be stuff that can help you. So if you want to ask me a question, just speak up and ask away. <laughs> Something you want to ask old Walkie, right? If you pay me five coins, I suppose I could tell you about what's hidden below. Sure, I've got just enough. Old Wonky just got this juicy bit of info recently. You know that small hole down here that only a little critter can get through? Well, you just head out away from the wall there, and when you can't go any further, jump to get something good. If you see that hole, you should give it a try. And that is that. If you need anything else, just ask old Wonky. I kind of zoned out a little bit through that. He said a hole that only a little critter can get through, but if you walk as far as possible away from it and then jump... Is that what it sounded like? I know stuff too! Seriously! Like, when the wind blows, the crater will fall. I just don't know why it falls. Because no one tells me! I mean, that's stupid, but... I've been there. I've been there where I don't know something because people frickin' won't tell me. Drives me nuts when that happens. It's like, how do you expect me to learn if no one's willing to teach me? There's a special refuge for all... Re special refuge for all where we cultivate information. Herb Tea's place. Sit back and enjoy yourself. Eh, yeah, what's in this other place? Ooh, there's a store in here. Slow shoe makes allies recover HP gradually for a brief period. Wish I knew how long that brief period was. Zelda Sheik said buffering. Looks like it was pretty brief at the moment. Let's hope it stays that way. Gradual syrup, same thing as the slow shroom, but it's for FP. Ultra shroom replenishes 50 HP. Jam and jelly. Restore, restores 50 FP. We also have gold bars. Three gold bars and a pile of gold bars in the corner. Man, how rich are you, lady? What are you doing down here? And what's the cloves of garlic up here? Uh, hi there. Welcome to the Deep Down Depot. What can I do for you? Uh, nothing. I can't afford anything in here. Oh, you got bottles here, too. I like how this place looks like it was recently cleaned, but it's so old that it still looks run down and grungy anyway. Kinda dig it. Now where's that hole that he mentioned though? Did he mean this? My daddy meant that thing. Oh! Hold on, I wasn't done up there. I thought that would go to the back. Oh, that was my bad. Let's swap out Goombella. Give me the info. That's a Spania. A Spania with spikes on its head. It looks meaner, too. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, and defense is 0. So, sort of the same as a Spania. Gotta watch out for the spikes on its head, but otherwise, just wail on it. I gotta be honest, though, the way that thing spins makes me want to yak. Nailed it. I 
And now I'll show you guys what a stylish move looks like. Nailed it. Oops. No point. Keeping her around. Let's do that again, just for fun. That is four stylish move command prompts. Minus the prompt part. Every single move in the game has some... At least as far as I... Well, probably not star moves. Maybe star moves. I don't remember, but... Every other move in the game has a command you can input... For stylish moves. Here's a regular hammer one. You only get one, one flip. Oh, that was lucky. Whoops. Alright, shell toss. Oh, I've botched that one a little bit. There's two, there's two two uh, two commands for Koops' shell toss or whatever it's called, but this X should have some kind of significance. I might remember what, but not immediately. Oh no! Wait, I want to go down here. How did I miss? You missed! How could you miss? You were three feet in front of you! Underrated quote from Mulan, if I've ever heard one. Hmm. Nailed it. So yeah, who who knew Bandage Boy Coops was a break dancer? And a pretty good one too. I wish I could break dance. But I am stiff as a board. I have absolutely no acrobatics in me. Oof. Actually, let's do an Earth Tremor. Nailed it. I've gotten good at that over the years. Six damage to all of them. Not bad at all. So yeah, that was Earth Tremor, one of the most overpowered moves in the game. That thing will be one of your best friends for a good long while. You got a free slow shame. I need to store things. Hmm. You know what, let's try something. I can't use this right now. Okay, never mind. I'll do that. And I'll take this back. And then, uh... 
Screw it, let's use it now. Boop. Is there any point to these rooms? Doesn't seem like it. And I can't get behind these steps. But there is something down there. We'll have to come back here later. Well darn. We'll have to come back here later too. And if anyone's wondering about walking speed, there is a way to go faster, but we're not there yet. We won't be for at least a few more episodes. It also happens to be the same way I get up there. Well, that was this neat place. I was thinking we could get to the other side from down there, but I guess not yet. So back we go. star pieces. I do not remember where things lead. Now we're in the other side of that room. What's in here again? Ah uh, yes, can't do this yet. We can do this. Oh wait, there's something else we can do. Ah, but I don't have the money for it. Or do I? I have just I have done a few battles just now. Money might have gone up. we got now? Seven. I was hoping for a lot more than that. Let's see if it's enough. Yeah, believe it or not, this is not an item. It's just a light of some kind. Welcome, I'm Melee. Underground, cute as can be. A fortune teller, that is me. Lucky for you coming here, I tell fortunes. Have no here. Fear. Have no here. <laughs> 
Let my mystic power tell of days to come. More as well, for luck sits on my spells. What do you say, Mr. Guy? Want to give it a try? That's good. That's great. Choose your path to fate. Which path do you choose? For now, I can only afford the cheap path. Okay, that's fine by me. So, ready? Ready for me? Okay, here we go. Did you just rhyme me with me? You can't do that. That's famously lazy writing. Cool effects, though. My mystic power can make you smile. In battle, you'll win with style. Even if nasty foes arrive, you'll be fine, since my fortune will thrive. Okay, come again. See you soon. See you then. Goodbye. I love her attitude. But also, it doesn't seem like she did much. You'll see it later. I can't tell you when, because of how it works. But you'll see later. It is a very cool feature, I'll say that much. Hold on. How do I get down below again? It's not here. That's the way to Petal Meadows. Is it this way after all? Am I a dunce? I'm probably a dunce. You know, I bet it's because I didn't go far enough to the right. No, I had to have to climb back up. Oh, it's this one. Right. I am a dunce. Oh. Hey, Mario, you see that? That was one of the things Professor Frankly mentioned. failed the stylish on that one. Oh well. Failed it on that too. Shoot. Nailed it. And on that. What's what, what happened to my timing, man? <laughs> There we go. Got one of them. Man, I just, I failed all the stylishes. What is wrong with me? Except for that one. Wait a minute. Before I go in there. Uh, I just remembered something. I don't know if I did it last time. Still so cheeks at a hole in the wall? Yes, I am aware. So theoretically, if I go directly left from the hole in the wall until I can't go anymore, I'll go up the pipe. But now, what I was thinking of... I don't remember if I did this last time or not. Not left away. Oh, I hear you. Give me that. Hmm. This place looks a little foreboding. What's with all the spikes in the walls? 
Danger, do not enter. This pipe is the entrance to the pit of 100 trials. First attack and bump attack badges don't work, so beware. So yes, this is the post-game challenge. As it says, the pit of 100 trials. 100 rooms. Straight, if I recall. With few intermissions. Deepest level reach, zero. Record power bounces, seven. Star pieces found, 13 out of 100. So I've done seven power bounces in a row. And found 13 out of 100 star pieces in the game. Cool. Well, Zelda Sheik said, not left, away towards the screen. Got it. So this way. Hey, We got a pretty lucky. When Mario's attacked, cause enemies to sometimes miss. Some enemies have that badge in combat. Has anyone noticed that? Does this do anything? Well, I know what I need to level up next. I need to level up my BP. Oh man, it makes him like actually sluggish. I thought it just meant I can't run away in battles. No, nah, I'm not playing the game with that. I don't need a badge to make me fight everything in the game. Come to eat me? And you're not bullies? Guess again, nerd. <laughs> hey Zelda Sheik, I'll let you decide which response should I give. said, of course not. Alright. For real? Phew. Boy, that's good. I thought for a second I might have an accident. Um, aren't you one of the creatures from Buckley Woods? Why are you down here? What? Why do you know about me? No, you must be... You guys are working for those x knots aren't you? You chased me here. No, it's the end. x knots What the heck are those? Sounds like tissues to the extreme or something. Look, we're not here to do anything to you, so relax. Tell us what's going on, okay? x knots medicinal tissues. Well, okay. This gang of bad guys who call themselves x knots came to where I live. They came inside a great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So I've come all the way here looking for help. A bunch of bad guys in the Great Tree? If those are the same guys who kidnapped the princess, they want the Crystal Star. Now that you mention it, they did say something about some Crystal Star thingy. But we peonies don't know anything about any crystals or stars. Say, could you guys help us out? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you a... <sighs> Pardon me. What was it? The Crystal Star? If you do, we'll give the puny... We'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if it'll help us reclaim our tree, I'm sure the Elder will agree. So what do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you. Really? You aren't joking? You'll do it? Um, I guess we should. I'd feel pretty bad if we didn't do anything. Plus, we need we do need to get the Crystal Stars before those X guys do. Oh, thank you so much. This is great. I'm so happy. My name is Punio. Pleased to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? Look at his little little legs go. 
It's this way. Wait, hang on a second. I'm sure the puny elder said some button around here opened the secret entrance. Aha! Check that out. There's nothing. Hold on. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I knew it. I was thinking we needed an ability to get over here, but no, we don't. Decrease damage by one with a guard action command. That's handy. A defensive badge. Yeah, I forgot all about that when I was playing the Switch version. I'll have to remember to do that. You can get to the woods we punies live in by going through that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry! And here we go to Boggly Woods. Chapter 2! The Great Boggly Tree. Ooh, look at this place. So monochrome with interesting teal, neon, and beige backdrops. So, the Bogley Woods, huh? Looks mysterious, all right. What do we run into next? Um, okay. Just a bit further and we should be able to get... be able to see the great tree. The Elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister, too. Come on, let's go! Are there any secrets around here? Doesn't seem like it. Welcome to the Bogley Woods, everyone! One of the most visually interesting and creative locations in the entire game. Well, who are these fellas? We've seen them before. Zelda Sheik said, something's going to happen to the little sister. You just might be right. <laughs> Time to go to work, lovelies. Vivian, you understand what we've got to do, yes? Mm-hmm. A, find that Mario guy, and B, steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian, but you're right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm? What's this now? Vivian, what's that you're fawning over there? Oh, what? You mean this? I found it near that tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely, I just had to pick it up. <laughs> Vivian, for shame! Picking up someone's scraps? Disgusting! Greedy! But enough about that. Vivian, my dear pack rat, we got the sketch of that Mario guy that you got from Grotus. <laughs> it, what? I, I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You're in charge of it. You wretched little worm. Blaming me for something you probably screwed up. But I... <laughs> uh, what is it, Marilyn? <laughs> my voice. Huh? What's that? Mustachioed fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf. Save your games for later. Now, now, where was I? You, Vivian! Don't tell me you lost our precious sketch! But, listen, I... Look, it's not my fault. I never had the sketch. Silence, you dits! <laughs> Such impudence! How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child? 
It's clear to me that the only rationale your type understands is force. For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, yeah, so sorry. Am I the only one? Like, I know that they, they all have, like, blushy cheeks. Am I the only one that has a hard time seeing Vivian's blushy cheek as anything other than her actual shadow eye? Like, I don't know why, but I just pictured that being her eye for some reason. Even though it's, it's totally not, I can't unsee it. <laughs> Oh, you're horrid! Let's, uh... Oops. There we go. Oh, come on. I should have stored some stuff. I forgot all about that. Maybe I'll have to go back to town quick. I've already got a sleepy sheep. I'll go ahead and toss this. I don't use those kinds of items much anyway. Oh, hold on a minute. Something I should probably do. There we go. Oh, come on. Those things are tricky. So yeah, enemies in Bogley Woods are monochrome. Check that out. That's a pale piranha. You know about these guys. The famous piranha plants. This colorless subspecies is adapted to Bogley Woods. Ah, the wonders of nature. I wish I could remember what voice I gave her last time. Am I, am I hitting it right? Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 0. If you try to jump on them, they'll totally chomp on you. Good to know. Somehow that's the easiest one to pull off. Whoops. No, do not want to headbalk that. That's a cleft. A rockhead jerk with spikes on his noggin. What a rocker! Max HP is 2, attack is 2, and defense is 2. That hard head is a major pain. Fire doesn't hurt it, but other types of items are usually are pretty effective, usually. If nothing seems to work on it, you can always just run. And yes, I did notice the pun about what a rocker. Ah, I failed it that time. Oh well. Star power's full. Anything hidden in this little bush? Nope. I see that over there. Looks like a, another thing on my bob. Another syrup pitcher. Well, it's a good thing I was gonna swap you out anyway. Now help me out here, Coops. Let's try this gradual syrup. Wow, that was a weird delay. Oof. They're so fast. So tricky. Swap me, Coops. Hold on. Cool. Just enough. Dang it, it wasn't enough. I guess I might not have needed the power hammer for that, but oh well. Hey! I nailed it! 
<laughs> I'm a little proud of that. I was hoping that would work. Looks like this. Let's go ham. Four of these guys? Nah, I ain't dealing with that. Got too hasty. Oh well. It was perfect. You know what? Let's go ahead and use that right now. Only five. Let's go ahead and use the other one. There, can you see it? That big tree. That's what I was telling you about. That's where we punies live. That's home. I almost forgot the voice I gave him. Uh, of course. It's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and spiders, too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. Piters has the same to the, the same ring to it that compote does. It sounds like a word that's missing a letter. We well, got an in coupon. Well, as far as I'm aware, there's no inn here, but I could be wrong. Into the Great Tree! It's actually called the Great Tree. I forgot about it. Or rather, Into the Great Tree Outskirts? Now, hold on a minute. I'll take that. I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, it's going away. No. What's the matter? Oh, no way. Was that Koops who said that? Ah, uh, well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Hey, don't take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do now? Uh... Um... Ago, the Peony Elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We can get in through there. I'm completely sure of it. Uh, problem is... I doubt finding it is gonna be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? Not to be a worry, Warp, but how in the heck can we find somebody's secret entrance? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh... Oh, got it! Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. 
Yolder says she's a, win a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so let's head back in the direction we came from. Now the question is, do I stop this soon? Or do I keep going? To the next mini-boss. Ah, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes. This place is so different from the bright flashbulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace. This negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. The way she says negative image, it almost makes it sound like a bad thing. But what's even better is that I and Madame Fleury grow ever more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable little punies that live in that tree are so nice to me. But, I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my! It's happening even as I speak. Already, I feel the need for drama. I'm just noticing the pixelated coloration on some of these surfaces. I don't remember the GameCube looking like that. I wonder if that's a thing with the emulator. That moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on the stage. On me. Zelda Sheik said, I wonder if there's a copy of that room in the rest of the world that is the opposite colors. Hmm. Interesting thought. I don't believe there is. Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. It's settled then. I shall rise again. But before I make my stage comeback, I simply must put my body and mind into shape. Lady's got a carpet around her bed and it looks great. It looks so fluffy. I'll just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No! It's gone! Gone, I tell you! My, my! Distant Mario noises. <laughs> if we head straight in this direction, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. Thanks for that one single coin, tree. Smack. Oh yeah, so I definitely I I do need the power hammer for that. Ah, oh, but we have a new enemy type here, and I totally forgot to keep Gumbella swapped out for that. That's a dark puff. It's basically a tiny mean thunderhead. Max HP is three, attack is two, and defense is zero. Sometimes it'll charge itself with electricity. Don't touch it when it does. Youch. You know what I mean, right? Bzzz, shocking! After it charges itself, it'll totally zap you with lightning. Beat it as fast as you can! Problem is, he's up there, so I have no way of hurting him without jumping. I love the animation on those flips, by the way. Almost blocked it. But now I can jump on him. Power bounce! Yeah. 
Don't mind me while I literally body slam you over and over again. I always wondered why you don't see more characters jump on their enemies when they're down in movies. It's not exactly the respectful thing to do, but not all characters in movies are respectful! Or honorable! It's just really strange to me that you don't see that more often. Okay, I have a plan. I don't know if it'll work. Dang it, not enough. Ah. Uh. And there goes my plan. Let's deal with this guy. I swear the, the window for scoring a command hit on the power bounce gets smaller and smaller with each jump, but I could be wrong. Especially because it keeps track of your record number of bounces. Well, I'm out of FP restores. Shoot. Well, I guess we'll use appeal. Hi, Coops. Dang it, mistimed it again. Hold on a minute. Oh wait, I was thinking there was something up here, but there isn't. But hey, this doesn't look high enough to reach the other side, and it very much isn't. So what do we do? We go this way. I can't see anything. I can't tell where I'm at. Where I'm at inside here. Oh, I'm back there. I was thinking I go to the right first. For some reason. And that's how trees grow. Apparently. Thank you. That was close. Oh, the smart scan, go away. I'll take that. Can I take this off and apply it? Nope. Can't apply Quake Hammer. I'll take off Close Call and apply Quake Hammer that way. Quake Hammer is another of the most useful skills in the game for the same reason as the Earthquake. It's just not as strong as the Earthquake. Timing wrong. He's done. Should probably use a sweet treat next time. Oh, never mind. We're leveling up. Everything's going back to max. I'll take those batch points. Thank you. Whoops. 
Gosh dang it. There went all those coins. Oh well. Let's tack that on. And the power smash. Yeah. Thank you. Look! They're in the distance! That's what I was telling you about! Flurry's place! Well, I don't need that. Strange that that lone tree over there doesn't drop anything. Seems like the exact tree that you would want to have something buried in. Hidden in, rather, not necessarily buried. Also, I just want to point out the beads across the skybox. How nice does that look? I have to wonder what that looks like from Mario's perspective. Like, is there a sky? Are we underground? What's the story of this mysterious place? So she said it looks like there's something next to the pipe. I don't see what you mean. Oh wait, you're right! I almost missed that. Right here. Just barely visible between the, the things. Is that what you were talking about, or were you seeing this little bush thing here? You were talking about the star piece? Cool, good spot. Uh, excuse me! Um, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Give me one moment, everyone. I'm gonna take a drink. Uh, that's a little better. Madam Flurry! Hello? If you're here, say something. Yeet! No, out of the question. You must come in here. Uh, Madam Flurry? Are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darling, squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last. You poor dear, is there something you need? Ah, uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem that only you can help us with, ma'am. The great tree's entry hole is blocked. There's this stupid door we can't seem to open. My puny friends are inside, so they're in a pickle and Mario needs these crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. If you can't find the secret entrance for us, we're done. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little Puno. I know I, you know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. Gee, is something wrong? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it, so I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. Gee whiz, that must be some nice necklace, huh? Man, I've turned everyone into a, to a southern bumpkin. <laughs> Hang on. You know what? It's weird. I'm sure I just heard someone talking about a necklace. What's that? Do speak up. 
You who have just spoke, do you have some clue as to my necklace's whereabouts? If you do, you must help me. Please, be a dear, find it and bring it back to me. If you could, then I'd be delighted to help my squishy little friend, Punio. Don't worry, Madam Flurry. I'm sure Mario can find your necklace. Where it is, he is super. You can do it, right, Mario? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. It's decided then. Let's go find it. I'm sorry to trouble you so. No secrets in the dresser. Man, I wish I had a house that left such a great first impression. But yeah, not a particularly eventful episode, admittedly. But we've gotten to the next stopping point. Next time, we will meet Madame Fleury. And we will get that necklace back first, of course. Then we will finally make our way inside the tree and find that secret entrance. But for now, I need to be going. It's getting late. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, my YouTube and Discord can be found on my Twitch profile if you would like to see past content or communicate with me and get updates. If you are watching this on YouTube, my Twitch username is the Winter Prince 52 That 52 is important. And I try to stream every night. I'm not good at it lately. Currently, my streams have been mostly consistent on the weekends. Uh, I try to do Paper Mario on Sundays, Spyro on Saturdays, uh, Hollow Knight on Fridays, and Arc Nights, and whatever else in the middle of the week. I do have some Spyro to catch up on. But anyway... Thanks again, everyone, and have a good night.